Hi guys, it's Summers here and welcome to another episode of my uh, On The Road Career Mode series with Warsaw. As you can see here, we're just undertaking some youth training, uh, just trying to get the young academy players a bit further towards the potential that we hope they may uh, get and in order to get them into the team. Uh, we're going to use put Dylan Parker in one of those slots as well though because the young striker, I think, is going to be influential over the rest of this season. So some improvement there from, from the guys, uh, Sangar uh, nearly on a 60 which means he will obviously get promoted to the, the main squad quite rapidly. As we move out to the first game of this episode it's a Checker Trade Trophy tie um, against Charlton, uh, we're at home obviously, being a, a simmed match. Cullion uh, has taken the lead there for Charlton on the 29th minute, uh, we've got a penalty uh, conceded on the 45th minute, so we're 2-0 down, uh, plenty of substitutions there in the, the middle of the, the performance and uh, another one there, Morris for Chambers, as uh, they miss a penalty on the 87th minute and we get a consolation goal in the uh, latter stages of the game there with Gordon. So we're out of the Checker Trade Trophy and we see here that we're going to accept an offer for Kieran Morris, £810,000, thanks for your service, but goodbye to you uh, when the window opens. Another home game here, uh, and it's once again Charlton, this time in the league though. Uh, let's see how we get on in a, uh, a league tie against Charlton. Very little action in the first stages of the game, but Ishmael puts us in front on the 25th minute. Devlin gets a card just ahead of, head of half time on the 43rd minute and the substitutions start to roll in. Dobson with another, 2 0 up now against Charlton. Uh, and that's how it finishes. So, yeah, we, we go 2 0 up and, and take the victory against Charlton there in the league game. As we move out to a bit more training. I'm just going to copy the same slots as last time, aside from Schneider, which currently has three of the slots. We're going to swap that out for Newman, because clearly we want to progress the youngster. And give him an adapt uh, attacking scenario. And in fact, we'll, we'll swap out the fifth slot as well for Newman. I really want to try and keep his improvement rolling because he, he really did prove in the opening games that we played with him that I think he has some decent potential going forward. So let's see, uh, slot him in on the one on one shifting gates. That will hopefully improve his strength. Sangar is now up to 60, having taken an overall improvement by one point. And we've got a transfer offer in for Edwards. Joe Edwards is uh, 27 years of age, so clearly not part of our overall uh, projection of keeping youth players on board. We will continue to keep some of the core Warsaw youth players within the squad in order that the simmed games, we can obviously keep them in, in place. As we can see here that uh, the scout report has come in for the young Greek goalkeeper that we had out on our watch list. Uh, we're going to approach to loan the player um, just as cover really, again in order to help with the, the, the situation in regards to uh, both simmed games and also the games that we will play. So we're going to go for a one year loan on the 24 year old, he's got 69 overall and we're just try, going to try and negotiate the uh, fee in which we will pay uh, for his period whilst he's on loan to us. So they want a 50-50 split at the moment, let's see if we can counter that and maybe get it down to 40% us paying, which they've accepted. So we'll pay 40% of his wage whilst he's on loan to us, which I think is very acceptable for a, a player of his talent. So let's head out to the first game of the episode in terms of us playing and we're, we're playing against Luton Town at Kenilworth Road. Our lineup for this game is Dunn in goal, Wilson at right back, Robertson Fitzwater in the middle with Leahy at left back. Ishmael, Dobson, Newman and Ginnelly are in midfield with Ferrier and Parker up front. And you might have noticed there that Newman off-slotted into the left-sided centre mid position. Because, as I said, 
uh, the first time that I played with him. I don't think he's a winger. He plays much more solidly as a, when he's on in possession in the middle. As uh, Luton unleash a shot there with their captain Newman here on the ball. Oh, he's given that one away. Unfortunate. He's going to chase it down though, and <laughs> flying in with a the tackle there. The youngster rather rashly tries to get possession back and wins himself a yellow card for his uh, troubles. Luton, edge of the box, knocking the ball around really nicely, but Dunn manages to gather that shot up. They're through on a goal once more, but we manage to block a few of their shots before they get one away, and Dunn's managed to grab hold of that one. Ferrier on down the wing, cuts inside. He's on a road to nowhere though. And the keeper just blasts it out of it. Having been under pressure. It's a throw in. Schmal back to Wilson into Dobson. Dobson out to Lee here, who's coming in on the overlap and he smashes one and hits the outside of the post. That was a really good effort there Thanks, from Lee he. Added time in the first half. And it was a decent effort there with that header. But Dunn managed to grab it as we head into half time. Play opens up here in the second half in the 60th minute, and Luton are putting us under a bit of pressure. Managed to find some space on the edge of the box there, and that was a decent effort, but it does go wide. 71st minute, and they're given, applying pressure again. Oh my days, what the hell was going on there with young Roberts at centre-back? He doesn't clear it, he goes to head it, he goes to head it, he doesn't clear it with a header and instead chests it down. Let's have a look at the replay and see if we can figure out what was actually happening, but it was an absolute mess. Cross here from Luton and it's chested down by Roberts. Keeper goes across to save it and then Roberts has another opportunity to get it clear and doesn't take it and Luton just tap it home. Poor bit of defending there from uh, Roberts. More pressure from Luton. And a great strike. That's finished the game off for sure. Nice bit of play as they came through the midfield. Nice through ball and a lovely little dinked effort into the, the corner of the goal. Great run on from these initial play. Little one-two there between the two players and that is a lovely little finish into the bottom corner. So there we go, we go 2-0 down to, to Blackpool. And that's the first loss of our episode in terms of us playing, at least. Um, and yeah, let's have a look at the performances of the players. We've got some really poor performances out there. Dobson being perhaps the best player on the field for us with a 7. Uh, Dunn obviously with 7.2 because he made plenty of saves during that match. And yeah, just a bang average performance really from everybody. So notification here that Morris is sold and that Devlin's talks have broken down. So we move out to the training scenarios once more. And Sangar makes yet another improvement going up from 60 to 61. Okay, so next game in the episode is a, an away game. We are facing off against Southend United at Roots Hall. Here's our lineup for the game. Not much has changed aside from the fact that pretty much everything has changed in the midfield. Edwards is in, Ronan's in, and Kuyar's out on the left hand side. See if Roberts can redeem himself for that very poor game last time out. Okay, a few minutes in there and we have been opened up and, and split apart basically uh, back post 
cross and they've come in and, and, and stunned one into the, the top corner. It's a very innocuous ball to the back post but the player's managed to get in behind the defender and smashes it in past Dunn. Should have done better there Dunn with that to be honest. Should be saving that kind of thing at his near post. But we're 1-0 down and, and having to chase this game. Ishmael now out on the wing. Cuts back and knocks it inside. Oh, that's so unlucky there from Gordon. Should have been should have been a goal, really. Should have got his head onto that, but uh, we'll, we'll let play go on. Gordon here once more on the ball and manages to get himself a free kick. Lee stands over it. He's going to take a pot shot. And it's a rather awful effort, if, if I'm honest. Strength there from Fitzwater, knocks it back to Roberts. Roberts loses possession once more and gifts Southend a goal. Terrible performance over the last two games from Roberts. Has gifted two goals to, to opposition. It's a good finish at the end of the day, but it should never have got to him. Um, just purely a bad pass out to him. Ferriero here trying to sh get through. Uh, just blocked off at the vital moment. Ronan switches off and knocks it into Kuya. Kuya! Very good goal there from uh, the young player from Afghanistan. Lovely oak, Ronan just steps across and knocks that through ball through to him. And uh, showing the quality there of the player that's on loan to us there, Ronan. And Kuyar just smashes it home. Back with the registration GR21. Down the wing here. Oh, that was a very close effort from that cross. Uh, so we've gone down 2-1 there to Southend. Another loss on the board, unfortunately. But, you know, we're, we're still finding our feet with Warsaw. There's a lot of players that are, are going to be shipped out in a moment. So we're just trying to establish how we're going to play with this team. Um, and obviously setting up for a big switch around in terms of the, the incoming players from the Youth Academy. Kuyar getting an 8 for his uh, performance and Ronan an 8.5. So we move out to the next game and it's a simmed one because we're at home at the Beskut Stadium and we're facing off against Wickham Wanderers. Nothing much happening in the opening phases of the game. 20 minutes in and still nothing on the board but then Wickham come away with a goal on the 23rd minute. Substitution here. Dobson coming on for Osborne and a couple of substitutions for Wickham, followed up by one by uh, us for uh, Morris and Ishmael. But Gordon manages to get himself on the score sheet in the 74th minute, and that's a one all draw against Wickham. Another point on the board. As we move out to some training again, let's see if we are going to make some changes. So we are seeing that Parker is just about to clip himself into the 62 rating, so he gets to, to stay in position. And we're obviously trying to get as much growth onto Sangar as possible at this stage, so that when he does join the uh, full squad, uh, he's going to, to obviously come in with a huge amount of extra potential. Newman was up to 56 as we get another transfer offer in for uh, Nicky Devlin, the uh, Scottish right back. Been offered £700,000 for his services and we're going to obviously delegate this out to our assistant manager to try to do us a better deal. So we're starting the offer at £850,000 um, and taking no less than £800,000. See if that goes through. We've, got, we've accepted the offer there for Joel Edwards. And that's it for this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. Obviously Newman uh, played in centre mid 
for uh, one of the games there and he did impress in that position. His rating may not have suggested so in terms of um, the performance, but I, I think he's going to be a solid centre mid. So we'll, we'll keep plugging away at that and try to keep improving him. Sangar will come in as soon as the next set of scout results come through. Uh, we like to keep players in hold in the youth squad for a month to allow them to grow a little bit. Uh, but yeah, if you did enjoy the episode, hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel for more FIFA 2019 content.